Now, Sierra, I kind of like you for getting in that big mouth hell for thought hitting her with your purse. I'm kind of on your side with him in the whole shooter situation. I'm with you. We see each other. But you hang around me, me. Oh, you hang around the wrong people now. Hell, I prefer you to hang around Carter Red and damn um, Rashida, Mimi, Tommy. I prefer you to hang around some other girls than them girls, because them girls going to need you down the gutter way they is. So, you might want to think about that. Tommy, your drinking is becoming a big-ass problem now. You need to either stop drinking, or you need to go to rehab or get you some type of detox, because this drinking and basically Spice saying you unworkable, she can't work with you because you always come on the job drunk, hungover, Tipsy feeling yourself because you didn't hit yourself a little liquid courage. Tommy, you going down a dangerous path, my dear. If I was you, I'd think about my career. Over this, what you doing, this drinking shit. Because it's not going to end well for you. I'm just saying. You might want to think about that and stop coming on this show being drunk. And I always got to have a little mini bottle with your name on it. And Rashida... This is episode nine, I think. Yeah, I'm checked out of you and Kurt and y'all fake ass storyline. I hear you talk no more, because I know it's on some Kurt shit. And yeah, I think I'm done with y'all for this season. I don't care anymore. I don't care about Jasmine. I don't care about the baby y'all punning off as Kurt. Father from the father than I am. I ain't no Rashida. Every time you open your mouth, I'm just going to fast forward you. I'm tired of you and Kurt now. I didn't head it up to here with y'all. When you put your tape in your own house, cutting off parts of the house, talking about your side and his side, I mentally checked out. I am done. I'm not talking about Kurt and Rashida no more. I'm done, I guess, bashing him and his three leaves. Rashida, I'm done calling you an idiot because you're not going to get any smarter, so... I'm done. <laughs> Enjoy, Rashida. I'm 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 mentally and physically checked out of y'all and y'all fake ass shit. Give me some real shit and maybe I'll talk about y'all until then. I'm done. See Sierra. See you weren't supposed to know about these fault these two kids. You only knew about two. Well apparently he got two more you didn't know about. And to be fair and honest, yeah, he got another um mashed potatoes and gravy. And it's not something about um yeah, if I was you I discard him, and this is why I didn't want you hanging around these group of messy, petty helpers, because I know what they are, and I know what they are about. They sit around and gossip about each other, and Tommy up here spilling the tea about BK. Sierra, don't you wish you would have stayed home now? I wish you would have stayed home. So now you finding out about your man you thought you loved, that you were leaving for shooter, and he ain't very faithful. Well, we didn't meet the woman. You just haven't met her or the other two kids he got that you didn't know about. So I guess enjoy. Enjoy what you got, I guess. Hell, you done been through worse with Shooter anyways. What two other babies going to hurt? Nothing much more than what Shooter did to your ass, so... Speaking of Rashida, speaking of Rashida, and I'm done, here come Jasmine, boo hoo hoo hoo, I ain't got curtain on, but Jasmine, you knew what you was getting into, like I said, I'm done, I'm over it, Tierra, I guess you trying to find your friend wherever you can, even though that is being with the home wreck or the neighborhood script, I get yeah, I don't care. Still not caring because this involved Kirk and Rashida. Still don't give a damn. Oh, so you didn't got your hair pulled out and hit across the head with a purse. Now you talking common sense about this man seeing his child. That's all it with a purse and a little hair tugging and you learned your damn lesson. Yeah, I still think you're a nasty bitch for keeping that man on. I don't give a damn what he done to you in the past when y'all dating. You dead ass motherfucking wrong for keeping that man away from his child. Plain point in a period. You all the way wrong. And I'm glad Sierra bust you across the head with that purse and yanked out a piece of your hair for you to understand how wrong you really is. This man had to make a scene just to get your damn attention. 
I still say it's fake as fuck, but I'ma roll with the punches, I guess. Yeah, you a nasty bitch, Keely. Y'all had a nasty breakup. He left the state, moved to another state, and caused him rude and disrespect for the youth. Yep, you're a nasty bitch. Don't matter, he moved to South Carolina, Hawaii, Africa, what fucking ever. There's planes, there's trains of transportation you can get your... Keely, you're just a bitch, you're nasty. It's official. You, that's what you are. You're nasty. You up too hard, and you ran with it, and figured you was doing the best for your child, which you wasn't doing best for nobody but your own self. Yeah, I, I knew I would. The first time I seen your big face ass, I knew I wasn't going to like you, and you proving my point. I knew it had to be something deep for you. I just explained myself before the situation. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. I'm mad at you so you won't see your child. You might have moved away from your child. Now I fight to see your child. Petty bitches. Petty. You nasty, Keely. You you look with that person in more. Wild, Keely. Wild, Keely. You nasty. That's all I got to say. You nasty. You only must grant this man this one wish to let him at least see his son for he leave town. I'll think about it. You get what you deserve at this point, Keela. I, I done beat your dead forehead for the longest. Now, I'm tired of you now. Goodbye. Now, Tommy, I ain't calling you no drunk or whatever. But this start to become a problem. A problem you're not ready for. You led to your own music video shoot with drink in hand talking about a fucking pig. Tommy, get your motherfucking ass off this show. Cause you gonna ruin everything you got going good for you cause of that damn drink in your hand. At this point, I'm getting tired of you and your alcohol in hand too. Every day I'm seeing you come in, here you come with your drink in your hand like that supposed to be encouragement or I don't know what the hell you think it. Tommy, you're grown, but grow up some more. It's time to go to greener pastures without that can in your hand on about this man going out with an ex for, for dinner. Girl, calm down. Calm down. I know you got men out there that like to date you or whatever, though, but this man respected your v car, ain't forcing you to give up your v car, asking for it, so you better calm the fuck down so well for you lose the one good man that might be there for you. Cause to be honest and fair, to give up they stuff. So this man ain't forcing you to give up yours, and clearly he okay with you keeping. You just better calm the hell down. Cause I'm pretty sure the next man, he probably gonna do you worse because you ain't giving him the good. So if I was you, I calm my tits and work with whatever the hell you got. At least he ain't cheating on you like everybody else right out there and got cheated on. So you better count your lucky stars. I'm just saying. And calm down and forgive that man and say you sorry for swinging on that man. You know what else I find odd? Now, I know the show scripted. I know the stuff gonna come out eventually. The cheating and all that come come out. They playing you or whatever. I know it's gonna come out eventually when Mona says so or whatever. <sighs> My problem with the situation is why are we going through all these jumps and hoops and loops and circles and turns? These U-turns, these detours, I never understand it. If I find out the information that Sierra find out, um, Mona, I don't want to go through all these U-turns, these curves. I want to go straight to his ass because he's snowing in my face and he got two other babies I don't know about. Uh-uh, see, I... This is why I wouldn't be good on reality TV. Cause if somebody gave me some news like that, forget all the everybody else storyline and everybody else got to go before mine get out there. I'm sorry. Man, he's going to have to talk immediately. Y'all going to have to go ahead and take me from that scene to me confronting his ass. Not wait maybe a few more hours before the episode go off or the next episode scene. Y'all better than I ever be. That's why I won't do reality TV. I couldn't and I wouldn't because I'm too real for this damn show and I'm too reality TV, period, and I couldn't do it.
Mama D, calm down. The reason you ain't doing like her for your son, just go ahead and admit it. Now that she out the picture and now he with a baby, go ahead and admit it. And the fact that she ain't with your son no more, just go ahead and admit it, Mama D. That ain't what that, yeah, mm -hmm. you love her cause she ain't with your son no more. And you know they don't get along. Hell, they argue too damn much too. Hell, but Mama D, I see you. I see you. You want to get along with Erica all of a sudden because she ain't with your son. She probably nicer to you now knowing she ain't got that pressure of dealing with Scrappy and your crazy ass. And it's probably better for y'all that they left each other alone and Scrappy taking care of his child finally. That's why y'all ass is getting along. It ain't nothing else. Cut it out, Mama D. The same for you too, Erica. You ain't not, yeah, my foot fit to go on your neck too. Your ass happy, glad that you ain't got to deal with Mama D ass on a 24-hour basis now that you done with Scrappy. You glad that you only got to deal with her when she come over to see. Erica, you calm down too. You get the same treatment Mama D get about your ass while y'all two finally getting along. Yeah, mm -hmm. Already explained, it goes for you too, Erica. Talking about the petty side of you, she got to deal with Mama D. You got to deal with Mama D too, Mama D too, when she come over to see your daughter. So, while you up there laughing at her, that she got to see deal with Mama D 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You got to deal with her when she come over to see your child. So, who laughing where? Mm-hmm. I that's what I thought. Nothing to say, no laughing, no nothing. Cause you got to still deal with her ass too. So you can't laugh too hard. See Sierra. Now Sierra, I'm kinda on your side. I'm kinda with you. I kinda like your little ass now. See what you get when hanging around messy helpers. Like I said, Mimi don't mean you no good. Tommy don't mean you no good. Carly Red don't mean you no good. None of them helpers don't mean you no good. And you see what hang around these helpers get you? Being petty, being messy, confronting in front of a whole bunch of friends they might know, relatives, cousins, uncles. See, this is why I don't want you around these types of people, because they bring the hood out of you. And I kind of like your hood inside of you, um... I forgot your name, you girl. Sierra, please go find your new sets of friends because these helpers, these catnets, Mimi hurt to the core, Tommy drunk ass, <laughs> Carly Red bird ass, they don't mean you no types of good. Please find you some new friends, um, Sierra, and get away from these helpers because Cause see they bringing this the same stuff they do they bringing it out of you now slowly but surely and I don't want to kind of see you go down this path. In spice, you new to the show? Yeah, we might know you from you know that last episode, that last season when they went to your hometown. I don't want you around these helpers neither. I, I I don't want them to spoil you and I like your style and I like the way you roll. I don't want you around these cackling helpers neither because they don't mean you no good. You just starting off and you already hang around some bad apples that's rotten and spoiling. They're going to spoil you by hanging around. Spice, run. Run like hell. I know Carly your girl and I know you think the best of her. She don't mean you no. Yeah, run Spice, run. Throw some hot sauce in their face or something and run like hell while you still can for you start acting like them too. Run, Spice. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the fuck on. So, Tommy, your drunk ass right here spilling drunken false facts and you can't even pull up the receipts correctly. Pull up the receipts. He correct your ass and I got you looking... Tommy, sit your drunk ass down somewhere trying to spill somebody else's tea and your ass can't even much get the... Tommy, take your ass to rehab. God, this is ridiculous. Now, you calling yourself trying to spill the tea and it's drunk stale tea. Tommy, please go sit your ass down somewhere because now you just making a fool out of yourself. Trying to catch somebody else in the web of lies, and you the web of lies yourself. You can buy timing.
Tiara, you ain't shit, you ain't shit, you ain't shit. Now you gonna bring the little chicken woman record. Tiara, you better leave well enough alone for you get beat up again. I got to watch this scene on mute because it's about Rashida and Curtin. She come bringing the drama. Let's just do it because I, I don't care anymore. But it's about that and I see Spice really getting um, Jasmine long neck ass. So I kind of want to see a Spice shot and touch her. I kind of want to see that. But that's about all I stun. I ain't stun the res. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, she got her opinion. Nobody kill Horace's opinion. Oh, gosh. Why they attacking you? Why they attacking you? Are you serious? Why they attacking you? Because you a hoe. You tried to ruin somebody's happy home by being a hoe scripper. Why they attacking you? I'm not letting you upset me. No. Nope. Not gonna let it happen. Let's just let this play this scene play out on mute because I don't care. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jasmine. She gonna break your damn neck. Spice got on that ass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Tiara, you was dead as wrong for bringing our home record at our party. And, um, Jock, I'm glad to see you go ahead and straighten it up and tell them, do y'all want to go to jail? Because I'm going to call, I think that's what you said. You said something about going to jail. I'm with you on that, Jock. Spice, she is not worth it. See, this is why I want you from around these girls. Because clearly, see, they're giving you bad vibes. And see, I ain't never known for you to come up in a girl face about the swing on her. Now, I see you didn't hang around these heifer long enough. Now, they got you up here about the fight making a fool. Spice, get away from these girls. They don't mean you no good. Leave, Spice. Congrats, Miss. I wish you success. As for your... Your cheating ass husband and Jasmine and all that drama. Yeah, I don't care. But I'm happy you opening up a new press, though, with that cheap ass jewelry, though. But I'm happy you open it. You know, go ahead and make your money, I guess. So, congratulations on that. But, yeah, I ain't stand for the Jasmine stuff. I don't care enough. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the hell. Sierra, you know how to pick man. Now to find out he got enough. Oh, yeah, I do know about it. We know about the other woman. I ain't hear the name. I was too busy fast for it, though. But we know about this other woman. We haven't seen her yet, but we know about this other woman. So, Carla Reds, you are correct about this one. If we know. It, okay. Sierra, get out while you still can, I guess. So the episode ended with Kurt finding out that his mama passed after millions and all these episodes of his ass cheating. We finally see Kurt with a soul. I'm not ready to see his soul this time around. I'm sorry he lost his mama or whatever, but I still think you're a piece of you-know-what, Kirk. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.